Fish tank people, what's the deal? It's your man Shane on a Tuesday. And uh, I kind of found something interesting. I, I just um, did maintenance on this tank, did a huge water change. Every once in a while with cichlids and all this rock work, you gotta kind of move the rock work around and uh, do it, stir everything up and do a big water change and clean out your filters and get everything running smooth. And uh, so that's what I did today. And uh, when, I, when I did that, I, I've talked a lot about resetting the environment in a cichlid tank when you add new fish and uh, all that good stuff. But if you see right now, a lot of the fish on the side are swimming up and down the glass there. And generally when fish do that, it's because they're feeling a barrier. Like you don't see cichlids do that very often unless this happened. Uh, like a lot of times when you add a new fish to the tank, you'll see them going over to the side of the tank and going up and down the glass and up and down the glass like this guy is here and it's basically just uh, him getting used to the size of the tank and where the boundaries in the tank are and I thought that was really cool that uh, just doing a, a water change and messing up the rocks a bit resets the environment but yeah the cichlid tanks looking awesome I took the Still got the little um, sponge filter back there. Just I'm keeping that cycled for when I want to get the other tank ready to rock. I switched this output to blow this way because I didn't have much flow over on this side, and a lot of detrius was getting down in the rocks, so that should help out a lot. And then this hang on back covers this side pretty easily. It's gross right now. The water's got a bunch of uh, junk in it, but it'll filter out here shortly. Be everything solid. I just thought it was really cool to, to see that working. Um, another thing that happened was um, all the fish get a little bit aggressive and they start chasing each other around a bit until they all chill out after you get everything filled up and uh, you see new boundaries start to happen. So if you're not liking the, the hierarchy in your tank a little bit, there's a couple ways to change it. One is to change up the rocks and you can limit the aggression a little bit because at least for a while uh, the fish try to get new territories rather than beating each other up um, they, they kind of focus on some of the other fish instead of just one and then also is that you know change your stocking it's it's cool because every fish in this tank has some kind of a, a, a spot on this ladder on this hierarchy you know top dog down to down to the janitor and uh, it, it's kind of cool say you take out you know one fish then another fish has to move into that position so it's kind of cool like uh, one of my fish died a, a couple months ago or, or when I first got into this house and um, he was one of the more dominant fish in the tank so what happened was then the boily eye said you know what he's gone so I don't got to worry about him I'm gonna color up like a madman and I'm gonna be the the dominant male in the tank so, and then this guy's climbing the totem pole too. He's looking really good, that firefish. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update on the tank and talk about that. I've been sitting here for probably 20 minutes just watching the tank and stuff going through my mind, trying to figure out, you know, what sex a couple of the fish are and uh, how I want to work this over the next couple of weeks. And I know a lot of you guys probably do that too. Just sit there and look at your tank and think, man, what can I do to make this tank better or, or what fish should I add in here and there's a little bit of aggression that boily eye that's recently colored up like a madman is uh, look at him when he puffs up Bam. yeah he's a monster the insignis is color faded actually a little bit because the boily eye basically took over that that dominant role and it's funny how fish can kind of just switch on a uh, switch on the fly and just say, you know what, screw this, I'm gonna be the man in this tank. So yeah, cichlid tank is looking pretty solid. I, I moved the plants all around and and all the rocks and gave them a lot of little hiding places, more swimming room, more circulation. So I think the tank will look pretty sick when it's all done clearing up and everything. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Welcome new subscribers. I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, comment on the channel. Check me out on Fish Tank TV. Facebook me if you guys haven't yet. Shane Church.
and I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Later.